Welcome to Good Bites Takeout. I'm Alex, and this is the show where I make the most of the fact that we can't go out to eat, so instead, I take it to go. Now, I'm in NDG today, and yes, it's a little rainy, it's a little cloudy, but that means spring is right around the corner, and we happen to be right around the corner from today's spot. Montreal chef Giuseppe Sacchetti has been tweaking his Roman-style recipes for over a decade, and when the world shut down, he opened up a ghost kitchen to share his famously square pizza with the rest of the city. Though Giuseppe isn't crazy about the term ghost kitchen because as he's insisted, both he and his pizzas are very real. My pizza is Pizza Ottavio. Uh, it comes from Rome. It's been 10 years I'm working on this. Uh, studying, uh, trips to Italy, working at it uh, and the drive for perfection and the drive for, for excellence and the drive for getting the best ingredients. Our own homemade products, like the sausages, the doughs that we make, our tomato sauce. You have to understand that the pizza taglio alla romana, uh, which is what, what I prepare, is done with love. Uh, the flavors are pronounced and all around delicious, in my opinion. Uh, but that's up to you to try it out. So thanks for stopping by, guys. All right, I'm gonna kick things off here with the Fior di Latte, which is basically a mozzarella pizza. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is that these pizzas are pretty big. They come in halves and holes. This, for context, is a quarter. The one thing I also wanna note here is that you see how fluffy this is. This is unlike pizza in the sense that you have body. This is bread indulged in a pizza fantasy. And I'm gonna dive right in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot more chewing involved here because there is a literal base of bread going on here. Unlike pizza, usually it's very thin, whether it's thin crust or even pan pizza, it's a lot thinner than this. This actually lets the tomato sauce and the tomato paste kind of come out and jump alive in your mouth. Whereas I feel like in traditional pizza, tomato sauce is great, don't get me wrong, but if you're thinking about the toppings. There's a lot more going on here. You're just breaking it down to the basics. Next up, I've got the zucchini, which is a beautiful medley of zucchini plus ricotta cheese. Again, keeping it simple, I'm personally not the first person to jump and try to get a vegetarian or a vegan pizza. This is calling my name because it's just different enough that I'm intrigued by how it's gonna taste. Mmm. 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 You hear that crunch? That is such a satisfying crunch. Look at, look at how cooked the base of that pizza is. So you're getting Ton of crunchy pull. Mm. This is almost ASMR. That's how good that crunch is. To say I saved the best for last doesn't do justice to the two pizzas I just had, but look at this Norcina. It literally belongs in a museum, work of art. I'm talking about mascarpone cheese, mozzarella, parmesan, and then you got some sausage. You got two different kinds of mushrooms going on here. And of course, some truffle because why not? Let's treat ourselves. Mm. Mm. Everything that the first two slices did well, this does a thousand times better. The way it comes together on this with that creamy, can you take a look here? This is like an Alfredo almost. This is just extravagant. Pizza is pizza for a lot of people. But I can tell that a lot of love and care went into this. And it speaks in volumes purely in, in just the ingredients. It's a great slice. And also surprisingly light. I feel like this looks like it would be heavy, but you can eat this and still have the rest of your day to yourself instead of having to take a nap. I'm in, I love it. And that is it for this episode of Good Bites Takeout. Thank you for making it to the very end. And listen, if you wanna order from Giuseppe, you can hit him up on DoorDash or even better on his website, pick it up, delivery, he does it all. Now, if you're still hungry, don't worry about it. I'll be back next week with another spot that you're gonna to wanna to order some takeout from. See you then.